Hey, hey, how you doing? So, you may have just heard that Meta has just laid off another 10,000 employees. Apple is freezing hiring, and there's other tech layoffs as well. So, in this video, I'm going to give you a bunch of tips on how to navigate the tech layoff situation or the seemingly widespread situation where tech companies are laying off a lot of people. I got some good news in this and I got some strategies for you to follow. So let's start off with the good news. Most of the layoffs that I can see anyway are non-coder layoffs. So they're laying off middle management, I don't know, social media people, all the dead wood type of people that you see in so many companies when they are in a growth spurt. That's very typical. So you have a wild period of time where companies are growing like crazy. Money is flowing like crazy. So they start hiring people like crazy. And this is normal. They hire a lot of people that are not so good or they don't really need. And then when you see things start to slow down, there's a perception of that, of the slowing down of the economy. They start laying off all these people that they didn't really need to hire in the first place. That all said, there are things you can do to protect yourself and to protect you from being fired if you just follow these simple strategies that I lay out for you. In fact, if you follow some of these tips that I lay out for you, you won't care about being fired because you will be in a fantastic position that you won't need to get that paycheck in two weeks. You'll be sitting pretty. So let's jump into it. So number one, wherever you happen to be, you want to be useful. You want to be somebody who is very valuable, somebody who's perceived as very useful, valuable, somebody who's there to make other people's lives easier. If you go into work with that idea that you want to help people succeed and you become the go-to person, the useful person at the workplace, chances of you getting fired will diminish quite a bit. If on the other hand, you're the complainer, you're somebody who doesn't get along with other people, you're not, you're, you're not there to try to forward, uh, to make people's lives easier, to not try, you're not there to forward the aims of the business, then you'll be one of the first pe people to get laid off when it's, uh, it's time to start laying off people. As I just mentioned, having great communication skills is huge. If people like you, they will want to work with you. If they want to work with you, you will be the last person that they're going to fire or lay off. So have good communication skills. In fact, it's such an important thing. In my mentoring program, I created a course called Lizard Wizard specifically to help people understand their emotions, understand why they feel certain ways, why other people feel certain ways. And when you understand that and you have proper tools and techniques that I provide, it will make you a better communicator overall, besides the fact it's going to help reduce all your anxieties, help you just deal in life in a much more effective way, period. So again, having great communication skills is a huge thing you, you can contribute to yourself, building these skills, and having these communication skills will lessen the, op the chances that you will get laid off during the typical belt tightening season in any business, meaning... As I said, there's peaks and valleys in business cycles. During the peaks, they hire a lot of dead wood. And during the valleys of business, they fire off the dead wood. Who have no communication skills are far more likely to get fired than dead wood with good communication skills. In fact, I know some people with, who are very much major dead wood type of people, but because they could speak well and people liked them, they didn't get fired. Outside of work, one thing you should have is FU money. I talk about this fairly often. I put out videos on it years ago. FU money is it's money that you have in a bank in a high interest rate savings account, six to 12 months worth of cash that covers all your expenses, your rent, your mortgage, your food, your gas, your insurance, everything. So that if you do lose your job, you're not gonna be like pulling your hair out I don't have that problem anymore, but you're not going to be pulling your hair out because you have enough money saved up that you won't worry. It's not a big deal. Ah, I don't need to work for six months. I don't need to work for a year. When you have that saved up, this is apart from retirement savings. When you have that emergency money saved up, you sleep well at night. Again, 
it, uh, it doesn't protect you from getting fired, but it makes, uh, it makes it much easier to manage when and if you should get laid off or fired. You're not, you're not needing the money right away. One thing you should always do is be always ready to jump from job A to B. Be on the lookout for new jobs. And that means you want to keep your LinkedIn profile up to date. Make contacts, connections, other people in your industry, and assume you're a coder. Reach out to other de developers, other coders. So making sure you're linked up is clean and uh, you're networking there is huge because if people know you in your industry, they'll be thinking about you if they're looking to hire. Like with your LinkedIn profile, you want to make sure your resume is up to date. Take a look at it once every three to six months. Make sure it's tip top. Perhaps you saw a resume consultant who uh, cleaned up your resume for you to begin with and understand how to write a good resume, how to position a resume for a particular job. It's good to have that cleaned up just like your LinkedIn. If you see the company that you're working for are starting to cut and lay off people, you have to step into high gear, get your resume up to date, your LinkedIn, LinkedIn up to date. Start throwing your resume out there. Start reaching out to people. Start contacting people. See if you can rustle up a new job just in case. Now, you may not get fired or laid off, but you never know. If you recently, if you get hired anew, though, the chances of you getting fired or laid off from the new job are far, 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 far less. So if you see, again, if you, I was working at Meta and they're laying off tons of people, I would be doing the steps that I suggest here. And I would be applying for jobs, sending out my resume, networking, so on and so forth. Be pro proactive, get ahead of the game. You don't want to be uh, not prepared if you get that layoff notice and you're like, ah, what am I going to do? So let's just wrap it up. Bottom line, though, is many of these tech companies are laying off non-coders. In fact, Meta put out a statement recently, apparently, that if you're not a coder and you want to keep your job, learn to code and then you can keep your job. So being a coder, if you're decent at coding, you've got good communication skills, you're useful, uh, people like you, chances of you getting laid off are far, far, far diminished. And even if you do, if you prepare according to the steps that I just laid out in this video, you'll be fine. My name is Steph and I do have a mentoring program. Go to UncleSteph.com where I mentor people in the ways of code. I've been coding since 1994. I worked on projects for major, major corporations, built my own SaaS products are still being used today. So in my mentoring program, it's unique, it's self-paced, you learn at your own pace. You do have the live support though. We have bi-weekly live coaching sessions. We teach you much more than code. We teach you how to be a professional coder and I teach much more than just coding. I teach you life skills, I teach you finance, I teach you freelance, I teach you how to take care of yourself, how to navigate in the world as a professional. In the mentoring program, in a nutshell, I am transferring my decades of experience to you when it comes to coding, it comes to jobs. If you have any questions about the subject in this video or anything else, put them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. Thank you.